Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. What a beautiful car. But hey, today we're gonna be towing an even nicer home. So detailed drone shots, let's go. Welcome to the tour. This is the main entry. Street level is right there. Everything's already laid out with the rough looking travertine stone. We've got the same going on inside. Also a big water fountain, which we switched off, but you're seeing it in the detail shots and the main entry into the beauty of this home. So let's begin, come on. Oh, massive door leading you right into the heart of the house. You got picture windows bringing natural light into the entry foyer. Nice chandeliers hanging down, dual steel staircase leading up to the first floor. But before I go into details, guys, casahub.com is the exclusive lister of this beauty of your home. If you're interested, where will they find the contact details, Patrick? Down in the description. You nailed it. Patrick, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, on the first floor, we have three bedrooms. On this level, we have two bedrooms. In the basement, we have a staff apartment and a fantastic basement and a fantastic solarium. Four floors, absolutely insane. I don't even know where to begin. Patrick, what should Ground we do? Ground floor. Huh? Ground floor. Ground floor? No, this is basement. So this level? Ground floor. Let's go, come on. Formal living room area in the center of this entire floor. We have Italian furniture, massive coffee tables here. Just for you to get an understanding, we have over or just under 1,200 square meters of built area and five main bedrooms and the stuff compartment downstairs. So the layout is more than generous. Italian furniture, I've mentioned that. To my left, we have another informal television section. Let's explore it. Big in size. Nothing's too overwhelming in this house, which I very much like. The interior design is kind of seamless and very easy going. We have this entire console here with marble plastered on it, fire place just underneath, big television setup. Nice contrast between the black marble and the travertine, which is more creamy. Access point outwards to the swimming pool here as well. You've got everything. And if you wanna close the door here, you can do that. And you have pocket doors here as well. So you can sectionize the entire areas. Now everything is in a rectangular space. So we have rectangular space number one, number two, and the designer kitchen, which I would love to show you guys. So let's jump right into it. Come on. Dinner table, eight seats, designer lamps dangling down. This is the biggest kitchen we've ever seen. For sure, one of the biggest, yes. I think you could even just run around your kitchen island for a workout. This kitchen island goes from here all the way to the end and it's super long. Bar stool area, induction from Miele extractor is installed above. We have the electricity plugs here, one sink, second sink, drawers with lacquered black wood, soft clothes, and this is really cool. I'm just gonna pop it open like this. It goes up, and when you press the button, it also closes automatically. It's just a thing for luxury, you know? Zero effort, that's what kind of you want when you're really rich, no? Makes sense, doesn't it, Patrick? Yeah. You're very rich, you don't want to do a lot of movement. I just like how it uh, like closes softly. Yeah. So you don't have to be banging around. These also, look at this. Yeah. Perfect. Now, behind the lacquered... Oh, don't do that, man. No, no. Oh, it's so nice and clean, Dominic. I'll clean it after. Nicely lacquered in black. We also have the appliances from Mida here. And of course, a 
fridge and a freezer to be found here. Everything nicely paneled behind the lacquered wood. I think this is a clean, nice play with colors kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, and if we move away from the kitchen, there's also an access point out to an outdoor dining table. We'll see that later. We have bedroom number one that we should look at, so let's go. As I said, every room is really big. This one not only has a lot of light sources by windows, but as well a very big space wallpaper from one end to another and a walk-in closet. Let me just really quickly show it. Voila, with darker wood, open plan and an ensuite bathroom, which is just here. Featuring a bathtub, which is quite interesting. Uh, I don't... It's quite shallow, no? It's not deep enough. Oh, sorry, it's not, it's not deep enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think you really just cover yourself and don't move. Cat B, Signorini tabs. And of course your shower with backsplashed natural stone, making this kind of more like cavey feature. Two sink vanity here with the drawer set up underneath. Also soft clothes. And I'm also more yeah. a shower guy. Just yeah. to kind of drop it in there. I like to bath, as some of you know, at least once a month. It's a necessity. Pocket doors as well. Voila. That is bedroom number one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue and show you what's behind this door, which is your guest toilet in all its beauty. Which cannot be missing, right? One, really can't. One thing, vanity. Same like kind of natural stone backsplash. We'll be seeing a lot of that happening, always in different variations. Signorini taps and fittings continuing. Patrick in a big reflection of the mirror. Indirect lighting. And not to wild forget. Wild smell throughout the house. The toilet. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, itself. and the toilet itself. Moving on from toilet, the elevator connects the basement, this level, and the first floor. We also have an epic solarium, so stay tuned. And now let's continue. Oh, this way. Let's continue. Patrick, I thought I was going to walk stylish beside you and then we'll have another cut. Nah. Not happening? No. Bedroom number two, let's have a look. This one goes for a double setup of beds, big back frame that goes from here to there, natural light coming in. And yeah, guys, just generally speaking, a really big room. The baseboard out of the same travertine as the floor. Underfloor heating is present. Just big? to mention. I wouldn't even say huge. It's a huge room. That's what I mean. We have five main bedrooms, which are all really big. Two here, three on the first floor, and then a staff apartment in the basement. So this home is for someone who appreciates space and quality. And the same thing is here. You walk in closet and of course also, we turn a camera around Patrick, your ensuite bathroom. Victoria and Albert bathtub. These ones actually give you, I think 30 years of guarantee. That's how good the bathtubs are. Two sink vanity, toilet and bidet. And of course the shower set up here with the same backsplash natural stone that wraps all the way to the corner of the wall. Now guys, that was two bedrooms. Let's continue. Two bedroom number, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's gonna go. By the way, if you go down that corridor, you come to the television room that we have seen at the beginning. The dual staircase leading down to the basement. And yeah, from there guys, just look how elegant it presents itself. I'm gonna take the stairs up and meet you at the main bedroom now. Let's go. All right, this is the main bedroom. This bed frame not only divides the area, but also serves as a bed frame. The, we have a super cool looking bed. I've never seen this, this whole vibe of this room. Rock and roll. You nailed it. Kind of has a rock and roll vibe to it with the color black and the more grayish wallpaper that goes throughout. Velvet framed mirror, maybe a quick look at it, Patrick. This is something we haven't yet come across. This is entire velvet and it goes all around the mirror. This is Patrick, hello. And yeah, in the reflection you see of the bathroom, let's have a quick look at it. Bathroom is right here, also to be closed with a pocketing door. There is a dual fireplace there. Is there one? Yeah, could be enjoyed from the bathroom Either or side. from here, <gasps> exactly, dual. Pocket doors and this. Ensuite bathroom, two sink vanity, different backsplash of natural stone here, big mirror setup, indirect lighting, toilet, shower, 
and a black bathtub. I mean, you see the dimension of this bedroom. It is huge and it's also very minimalistic, which I like. This is your walk-in closet, nicely illuminated thanks to the big picture window bringing light in and a lot of space for you to hang your clothes, etc., etc. Now this level also has a terrace. It's right here and this is partially covered, but we also have dappled light thanks to the skylight, which is just underneath the swimming pool of the solarium, which is pretty awesome. Bedroom number two and bedroom number three also get to enjoy this terrace. And of course you can suntan right there or lie here under the shade and simply enjoy the beautiful views to the sea. Now let's look at bedroom number two and three to finish off bedrooms on this level. So let's go. Bedroom number two. Covered spaces to my left and right. There's also a little terrace that you're seeing in the detail shots. We have the ensuite bathroom, same setup, Victorian Albert bathtub, generous in size, shower, different backsplash of natural stone, big window, which also opens up. And here we can see the backsplash of natural stone I mentioned. One sink vanity drawer set up underneath and the same Signorini tabs and fittings as we already have seen. Now continuing, this would be the bedroom number two. Big in size, once again, big is the word of this house. Wallpaper from wall to wall with these nice golden freckles. Big fan of the bed framing here. General, clean, elegant, access point out to the terrace we've just visited. And yeah, that is it. Let's go to bedroom number three. Right, last bedroom, ladies and gentlemen, before we go down to the basement, then to the solarium, and then out to the garden area. This is the elevator connecting three floors. This would be the last bedroom that we're seeing on this level. Cupboard, floating bed, like it very much. Super illuminated, as you can see. Maybe I even put my shades on. This bedroom also has a little TV set up here. Big window, see-through, giving you views from the bathtub out to the sea. Let's actually look at it real quick. This is your bathtub, Victoria and Albert once again, one thing vanity, the same fittings as I mentioned before. This time backsplash, more of a brighter looking natural stone, toilet and shower. All Perfect. You need. And what I said, when you lie here, you can look at out to the sea and you're probably seeing that in the detox shot. I'm pretty sure Patrick, my dear brother, is putting that in there for you. Now that is it. Now basement and then solarium let's go i'm lazy today so i'm going to be taking the elevator and patrick you're going to walk uh, i take it with you then take it with me yeah Do we're going to have nice, that awkward moment in nice the elevator close up i love it i'm a big fan of close-ups tristan krupp elevator good company and off we go and we straight go to the garage which is here all right garage guys but before we talk about the size, such a big thank you to Bentley Marbella, see the Salamanca for once again providing us with an amazing set of cars. I really wanted to get the Apple Green convertible once again. It's the funnest car to drive. I would absolutely love to buy it, but I don't have the spare cash if you do. Bentley Marbella is the place to go. And yeah, Patrick, you were also given a really sweet ride. Tell us a little a, bit about a it. Tega. Also V8. a V8, right? It's a very big car. Yeah, it drives it? very comfortably and yeah, it's unfortunately not the choice of car of mine. What would you choose? Yeah, I'm a Mercedes guy. Patrick, you shouldn't be saying that when we're plugging Bentley. I'm sorry. Cut that out, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm an honest guy. But right. still, it's an amazing car. Without a doubt, it will find the right owner. It's just not mine. Well, fair enough, Patrick. People appreciate your honesty and realism, so thank you for that. Garage, you can really fit four cars in. We just parked them sideways to make it look more dramatic. This is the car port. Of course, you enter through the gate right there. You've seen me at the beginning of the tour coming down here. You have a lot of spaces to also park the car. And from here, you also get to see the two sort of pillars holding the entire facade together of this home, which is epic. So much space here, you can even do a nice outside workout, some CrossFit. Yeah, 100%. Get yourself a tire, flip, 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 flip the tires. <laughs> yeah, flip, 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 flip the tires or run up the stairs. As I said at the beginning, you have an entire passageway that wraps around the house. So from the main entrance, you can also walk down these travertine stairs and come here. Now, guys, let's have a look at what else there is in the basement because there's still quite a lot. And then we have the solarium, so a lot to look at. Stay tuned, like our videos. And yeah, 
Thank you for tuning in, guys. We have storage room, storage room, server room. Not gonna show it, guys, not so interesting. And more storage right at the far end. All right, fantastic garage, guys. Can't be missing is a cinema room. Let's have a look. And of course, a laundry room, which is just here. Cam Patrick, let's check it out. Everything a laundry room needs, right? Sink, cover spaces, dryers and washer, two of each. Superb. And enough space to put your ironing Plentiful. board. Yeah, and solid thick doors. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but the doors are heavy duty. Now we also have a guest toilet on this level with a toilet and this sink setup, which is quite solid and interesting. That's massive. It's one piece, no? Yes, uh, it is. Maybe, yeah. I like it. Picasso, I like it. Awesome. And the last bedroom, which is right here, Patrick. Let's jump in real quick. It's a proper apartment. Let me explain. Appliances are here. You've got the oven, microwave, induction, sink, fridge, cupboard spaces, bar area, and a living room area right here. L-shaped couch, television setup, and of course a bedroom. And everything's nicely illuminated with natural light coming in. And this would be the bedroom. Spacious. Light lit, cupboard spaces are just there. Man, I wish to have a basement with so much natural light and so much space, right? Yeah, it's all you need and nice and fresh. Yeah, a continuation of one thing. Vanity drawer setup, it's kind of the same. So I'm not gonna go much into detail here because there's a really fun games room that I would like to show you now. So let's go and explore it. Vamos. But before we get to the games room, we have a wine cellar here. Let's open it up and have a quick look, Patrick, because there's some nice goodies in here. Got some vodka, got some red wine, white wine, everything you need. Take your glass, drink your wine, feel sophisticated. And yeah, by the way, this would be the landing when you come down from the stairs to the basement. So I know, should we just switch it around real quick? Got a dual sofa set up here. This is the staircase going up to the ground floor, which we have seen at the beginning of the tour. So you can also, of course, walk down, take a little break, catch a breath, and then go to your games room. So let's explore it. Everything you need, guys. TV setup, bar area, put a DJ there, got some sound system pump up the music, play some pool, play some air hockey, or if you feel fit, you have a full gym here. Now, Patrick, gyms are kind of your area of expertise. What do you think? It's more than enough. <laughs> Definitely it's more than enough. everything you need. Yeah. And it's good equipment as well, so. It's from live fitness. You can really go and go crazy here. You can train everything. You've got your legs. This is for your bum bum. This yeah. is for your hands, for everything. And this is probably one of the best fitted gyms we have seen so far. For sure. And I always say, you know, if you already have a bar and some weights, you could train everything. Here, you can do more than enough. Oh yeah. You know, Maybe so. we, we put in a little gym session when we finish. Yeah, we could. And then we can also pop into the sauna, steam room and See, Patrick, two showers. One on the left, one on the right. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen this before. I'm a little bit doubtful about these two showers next to each other with the, like a glass separation. Why, you wanna hide? <laughs> yeah, if, if it's your partner, it's good. If it's your training's partner, it's weird. Well, kind of have to become intimate with your training's partner so he knows where he can, you know. Oh, she knows. All right, this is it. I'm gonna be taking the elevator to the first floor and then I'm gonna show you guys the solarium. Should we do that? And then the garden? Yeah, we can, we can make that happen. If you behave. Let's go. Dominic, did you train your back? You're so wide. I'm wide. I am very wide. All right, come in, man. Let's do this. 
I'm just like. Guys, it's February, the sun is shining, but it's still a little bit cold. My hands are a little bit cold and my feet are a little bit cold, but a lot of you have been complaining about me not wearing, like, wearing shoes and not walking barefoot, so I'm walking barefoot, but I'm pretty cold. So I'm putting a lot of effort into all of these kind of things for you guys. If you like it, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and yeah, comment. Cool, right? Awesome. <laughs> yeah! Now it's solarium time, and we're gonna have to be taking this axis and the spiral staircase up to it, so let's go. All right, this is probably one of the coolest solariums we have seen. It's fully decked out, guys. Let's start off with six sunbeds, designer sunbeds here. We can really, with no obstruction, get 100% of the sun, suntan, get nice and brown, heat up, and then jump into this epic swimming pool. This is on a roof, guys. This is roof, terrace, swimming pool. I think this is pretty neat. Patrick, I need you to hype it up. Come on, man, how awesome is this? It's is crazy. <laughs> Patrick, you're one of the funniest persons I know. Outdoor dining area, outdoor kitchen, barbecue, sink, fridges, everything you need to entertain. And of course, from here, you also get the panoramic views, Gibraltar, Africa, the sea, and another, come, lounge area here. This would be the perfect place to do what, Patrick? Chill with friends and smoke a shisha. Or a cigar. And from here you actually get to see a little bit of Sierra Blanca. That's La Concha. Sierra Blanca is probably one of the most consolidated residential luxury areas. And this home is an iconic home. It's Villa Mozart and it's a real beauty. And it's got one of the dopest rooftop terraces we've ever seen. But now, turn around Patrick, because this entire garden area, the garden is just under 2,700 square meters, is another place we should explore before we end the tour. So, let's go. What was this? I was supposed to snap into the next shot, me being down there. Not working, I guess. Should I try? Wait, 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 wait. This is how it's done. 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 Dominic, this is how it's done. This is how it's done. This covered area, guys, not only features an outdoor dining table, which is just adjacent to the kitchen, it also has another chill out lounge here, the L shaped couch from where you can sit, enjoy the shade or directly go down to the swimming pool. But before we do, more of the circular lounge chairs, pretty nice, but the most important part is this here, Patrick. So maybe twist the camera around the swimming pool with super shiny tile, sunken down pit to come at night and chill with your friends, drink some beers. We also have a jacuzzi set up there, more sunbeds, and best of all, more sun beds here. So this is like your entertainment swimming pool area. We also have another casita right over there, which has a kind of second outdoor kitchen. Super neat. That's the jacuzzi I mentioned. That's the Mediterranean Sea. Outdoor shower. This would be the only grass garden area you do have in the home, but it's more than enough to play some footy. Down there's the garage. Generally speaking, maybe if we position ourselves here, but before we go, you look at the architecture of the house, it's super modern, very contemporary yet, because it does look to be timeless. And this design, I loved it when I first saw it a couple years back and I still love it now. What do you think, Patrick? It is like, very stealth looking. Yeah, right? Edgy, aggressive sort of a little bit. And this is your outdoor Barbecue area, proper kitchen. You got your grill, you got vegetable garden behind, a sink, numerous places for your fridges. Everything you need is here. So it's a real entertainment home to be quite frank. And it's great, so when guests are coming and they're parking down there, you just be like shouting like, hey guys, take the stairs up, bring wait. the civic seat to us. Yeah. yeah. 
I was going to say that I can't wait to drive that car again. Yeah. But anyways, let's position ourselves a little bit better, maybe here. Give a big thanks to Bentley Marbella and of course to casahub.com, the exclusive lister of this home. Because we've come to an end of the tour, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed it, thumbs so you up. You want to end it here? Oh, where do you want to end it? Well, the pool. This Are is you cool. jumping in? No, no, thank you. So guys, thank you for I mean, tuning it's in. It's still cold, yeah. Patrick, last words to you as always. I will throw you into the swimming pool. No, not happening. Last words to you, Patrick. Guys, if you want to see Dominic jump into the swimming pool in the next video. You don't, guys. Leave it in the comment section below because Dominic loves cold water so much no. that for his dear friends, he would be doing his friends and fans, I want to say. <laughs> so yes, guys, Tell please. Me. <laughs> Comments below, <laughs> tell him to jump in the next video. Or well, contrary, if you want Patrick to jump in, comment Patrick. I'm okay with cold water, guys. No fun. He's just, he's lying. Look at me. I'm not lying. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you for everyone who was involved. Like and subscribe, like always, and see you next time. Boom. Out. Liver King out. <laughs>